Welcome to Benchmark. Today we're going to be showing you how the Easy Translator app works on our device. And so we're going to go ahead and just get started and I'll show you exactly how it works. First of all, you just come to the display panel. You log in to the application using the Easy, Easy Translator app. You'll type in your username and then you have your password. Hit OK. It's going to connect to the server and it's going to log into the Easy Translator app. Once you're logged into the app, you pretty much, it's just going to walk you through it. It's extremely simple and very intuitive. But you're going to select the source language, which means the language of the document as it currently stands. And this one happens to be English. So we're going to choose English. After you choose the source language, you're going to go to the target language. In the target language, in this case, let's just say we'll do a simple one to start with. We're going to use Spanish in this case. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down, choose Spanish. We can tell it if it's two-sided or one-sided. This happens to be a one-sided document. Uh, the original size is 8.5 by 11. You don't have to choose that, but I choose it just to make sure it scans it properly. And then we can tell it if we want to print a copy or if we just want it emailed because it'll email a copy in a PDF format or it'll print it as well. So in this case, I want to do it printed so that you'll see what the output looks like. Once you have all that completed, all you have to do is take the document itself, put it into the document handler. You'll see the green light come on. When the green light comes on, hit the start button on the translation and you'll see it gives you a message that says that it's scanning the document. Shortly after it says scanning, it's going to keep circling and it's going to show you another message that's going to say that it's translating the document. Right now it's starting to translate. As it's translating, it's actually going to the server, it's converting the document from English to Spanish, and then it'll send that document back and it's going to print it in English. And generally speaking, on a simple document, that's going to take somewhere between 15 and 30 seconds. On a more difficult document, like I'll show you in a minute, it might take up to a minute or so, but it's going to get it done and it's extremely timely compared to doing it in any other fashion. So here comes the output that we just did. You'll see that now I have the document in Spanish. So I have English version here, Spanish version here. It took about 10 seconds to translate it and print it. And so extremely easy, extremely efficient. And that's how we go about getting translation services done.